welcome everybody. I just want to say congratulations. Um, it is our new summer theme. You are the very first to know because this is going out actually before we uh, open it up to everyone else in the world. Our theme this summer is My Beast Within. I'm particularly excited about it because uh, we all have kind of our inner beast and it's um, really a playful and real serious uh, way to explore for the summer. And uh, we do have um, a giant photo shoot. That is the big event launch for this summer. Um, we've, we've invited some new people to come play. And I think you're going to really, really enjoy it. Um, we have 16 photo vignettes and uh, lots of these fantastic masks and really going to be able to do some playful things. So for those of you who are new to the summer theme, my name is Mickey Mikeworth and I uh, every summer do a theme for the summer and invite the world to play. And it is a theme. Um, I live. Uh, I'm, I live in the United States, and I live in the place in the United States called the Midwest. And then in the Midwest, I live in a place called Minnesota. And that place has just brutal, um, brutal, raucous, feral, awful uh, cold. I mean, it is cold. And so when summer comes, people just here just get crazy. Um, in Minnesota, there's lots of water. Um, so there's lots of snow. And when it is green, it is like every shade of green. I mean, it's just 70 shades to thick, lush, overgrowing um, deliciousness. And so when summer comes where I live, everybody goes crazy. I mean, like you, like all bets are off in summer. Um, I don't even have a teaching schedule in the summer because nobody's coming. Um, because everyone gets out there and does, you know, they're going to the lake, they're going to be outside, they're fishing, they're, they're, they're just doing everything to be outside. And so I will frequently put a theme together so that people can one kind of remember the summer because they've identified it with something else and something else with a theme that's for and about themselves. So we can invite people to create and think and play differently for the summer. So I'll name the theme and then I'll put out uh, throughout the summer things that are about that theme. So uh, last summer was cloud summer. We invited everybody to take pictures of clouds and think about clouds and sing about clouds and just just focus on the sky and what that brought for you. And it's amazing how few people look at the sky. Uh, we've also done, you know, fantastic ones like we did Gypsy and we did Mermaid and we did the Summer of Sit where we, um, for me personally, that was a summer that I had just had just so much life just, just fall down on me. And I'm like, I can't even play. I just need to sit. And so we just sat for the summer and we sat in all these different places and just paid attention to the world differently. So we invited people to go and just sit somewhere, you know, write or create or be, but it is the summer of sit. And that summer theme helps long term for people to really identify creatively with themselves because that was the summer of this whatever is named. So this is the summer of my beast within, and I am particularly drawn to this because of how much work I'm doing with all my mentees and just my own work of really looking at kind of my inner beast and the things that we have. And when I started doing the prep for this theme, I was really kind of rocked a little bit by just how... Um, how many kind of nasty little words are there to describe a beast? And many of us uh, will this summer be exploring not just the fun part of beast, right? That salacious, delicious, passionate rawr, part of our beast self, but also kind of looking in at some of these other beasts that we hide um, or that we are going to have to lean into. So I'm going to invite people to lean into those emotions that they don't always want to 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 lean into because they're a little bit dark and murky uh and 
uncomfortable. And when I look at those emotions that I do want to invite people to look into, it is, you know, looking in at pain, looking in at, you know, the places that feel a little bit vulnerable and, and working with them. Uh, one of the main concepts we'll be using is a, it, when we're leaning into some of this pain um, or grief or whatever is your beastie, um, is a Buddhist technique, which is where really where you kind of go in and ask that beast, what, what, what do you need? Right. And kind of work with it. And it's also a way to kind of confront those emotional beasts that we have that maybe are feeling crude or rampant or just kind of venomous and howling that we kind of keep at bay all the time. And some of us have, um, have this real set of raw emotions that we're almost afraid of and because it's just this wild thing part right and and we we don't want to let any of it out because god you know what 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 could happen then but i also want to celebrate this other part of our beast by by handing back all those other types of emotion we also hide back all of the fun fantastic wild rompus, wild thing part of us that also makes us great artists, creative people, and um, also allows us to play. And, you know, people have asked me, why are you putting in so much effort for an event like this? And one, it's because it is, it is criminal how much we as adults um, forgot to play. You know, I, I see a lot of people when they kind of lean into, oh, gosh, what is Mickey doing this summer? You know, crazy Mickey. Um, you know, yes, I have to be an adult all the time and I have to be a really big deal adult. But you have to play because there's no other way that you can get all of you functioning, you know, that that it is so play makes every part of your brain light on fire. It makes you have more energy. It makes you want to do more. And this, this uh, opening um, for, for my beast within is very full bodied. You know, we're doing a photo shoot with all these great masks and we chose masks that were a little more realistic and not cartoonish. So we could really use um, a photography lens and our bodies and, and these play pieces to really showcase some other emotions and to kind of beat into the, um, this kind of weirdness that is what we are, uh, kind of afraid of, or are this other side, this wild, delicious part, or, you know, the, um, what's the word I want? the this kind of creature self and this other part that we are really you know tame right that that as humans we are really kind of you know nice and tame and lovely and you know just tra la la right and so by kind of putting this together and getting full bodied play you're going to have an experience that you're not going to have any other way and we have the pictures to prove it right so I want to encourage those of you who are coming to uh, the actual photography thing, you know, this is a time that you're going to want to grab 10 of your friends and bring them to that photo shoot because it there nobody else is going to get to play like this. This is a very expensive, um, this is an expensive idea. Right. The masks themselves cost money, the space, the the food, the everything. And the reason that you want to play is because you'll have this you'll have this time to be able to do something that very few people are going to be able to do, not just because it's cost prohibitive, but because they feel vulnerable and uncomfortable in play. And you, you have to play, you have to laugh and giggle and screw around and pretend that you're a lion or a zebra or a goat, you know, that, that, that part as an adult is so lost. And I just, I just think that's so criminal. Um, and by doing this, by you kind of coming into the concept of even just naming your summer or, you know, saying, let me think about, let me think about my beast within just for the summer. You know, I'm not asking you to change your life. I'm asking you to go, can you play with me on this idea? 
um, and then see how it plays out for you. You know, let's see how you write. Let's see, can you dress differently? Can you, you know, invite more of your wild child, that more riotous kind of ravenous self into, um, into your everyday life, right? Because there's this, there's this fun that I think everyone is craving, but they're not willing to also do the work that's attached to that. And that the work that's attached to that is sometimes real vulnerable and loving yourself and doing this other stuff. But really the work of it is being willing to play in this kind of untamed, unbridled kind of, yeah, kind of way. And, and that is what we, what, what this event is offering. So I want to thank you so much for being willing to participate. Um, I do want you to, you know, grab your friends, um, invite them to this summer's theme, invite them to come and do this photography with you and, you know, to just play because it is so important. I mean, it's just so important. And I think you'll just have fun. We do ask that everyone hold off for those three hours um, to not post any of those images before midnight when we announce the theme to everyone else in the world. So if you are coming to that party, you know, hold them, take as many pictures as you want, edit them, but just wait that three hours from the end of the event till midnight and, um, and, and they can just start rolling out. They can Instagram crazy if you want, but, um, really want to encourage you to also bring your creative self. All of you who are bringing your cameras and amateur photographers and things like that, you know, we want you to interact with these other people in a playful, loving way. And, uh, there's just a lot of fun places to shoot. And even if it's raining, we have, uh, kind of rainy options. And I think the rain is just going to be another, another piece of the story. And so it, it'll, it'll, it'll be great. So thank you so much. I'm so excited about summer and, um, I will see you soon. All right. Bye.